Because, like I said, she's obviously a bit of a more, more full figured lady. So, and that's something a lot of people are, are into. Yeah. Like, oh, a female that doesn't look like a 12 year old girl? Oh, God. Impressive. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another anime reaction here on the Genreverse YouTube channel. It's uh, it's AVR Squared, and we're here to do our Buddy Daddy's episode 8.5 reaction. I thought this would be episode 9, but apparently I thought wrong, and we're going to be doing 8.5. At least that's what Crunchyroll has here on the, uh, the title card. I'm Kyle. This is Christine. Please do hit that subscribe button if it's something... Uh, that you haven't done already. Uh, we really do appreciate everyone that is subscribed. We appreciate all of our audience, whether or not you are subscribed. But the subscription thing would really, really, really help. Uh, interact with the video, the thumbs up, the thumbs down. Uh, be sure to uh, check out all the other great content. And of course, uh, tomorrow morning for some of us or tomorrow night for, for others, uh, the uh, 2023 uh, Crunchyroll Anime Awards. Uh, uh, we will be doing a live reaction 4 15 a.m. Eastern time, uh, 1 15 a.m. Pacific time. Yes. And uh, that would be 8 or 8 15 uh, Japan time. The uh, series or the show, the uh, ceremony, geez, yes. starts at uh, uh, 15 minutes after. So uh, 8 30, 4 30, 1 30. <laughs> Yay time. There's links and stuff for, for you guys. You can find you can find all of that. <clears throat> um yeah, let's let's get into this this Buddy Daddy's episode 8.5 reaction. <laughs> Please don't be just a recap episode. Is this a recap episode, guys? I think it's been a while since I've seen a, a recap episode. Mm. I don't I don't even think we've ever seen something like this in a in a, a seasonal since we started doing uh, reactions. Yeah. She's so rude. I know, right? Yeah, we're just doing recap. I guess we'll have to watch and see if they sneak in any, like, uh, background information? Yeah, I guess. Cat, put your butt down. <laughs> You looked a lot like him. <laughs> yeah. We need to watch that other, um, the Yakuza's Guide to Babysitting. That was another, like, yeah. uh, parent child, uh, anime thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna do recap. There must have been some issue. I don't I don't know if this was planned or, or not, but some issue in, in production. Yeah. And then they left her alone and she found a gun. <laughs> You know, it uh, it reminds me what they're doing completely wrong to uh, lock her up to leave her. But it reminds me of times where you're you're trying to put uh, your kid in timeout, and they are not having it, and they're sitting there pounding and pounding at at the door to uh, uh, be let out. Frustrating, and you have to uh, accept that there's going to be a certain amount of of damage done to your home apartment whatever whatever whether you're yeah. renting or buying be be prepared to pay for uh repair work repairing some holes they're gonna throw they're gonna kick and uh yeah that's yeah something else like we had to switch his doorknob because he kept locking himself in we haven't even himself yeah, we haven't in. switched it back <laughs> it's like no dude <laughs> You can't, you can't do that. Like, of course, it's got the little safety, uh, uh, um, where you can use like a screwdriver or something to just, you know, turn it and and it'll it'll unlock. But still, that's precious time in in case of any uh, in case of an emergency. Yeah. Um, and if it's serious enough, you're just gonna break down the door and have have to pay for more stuff. <laughs> 
Although that is a good way to get them off their off their butt and uh, understand that they need to go move and, and do something. Is be like, okay, fine, we're just gonna leave without you. Mm-hmm. Have fun, bye. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I'm telling you, he could have he could have played that off. Look. The babysitter canceled. I told her to stay in the van. I'm I'm sorry I brought her. I didn't tell you. I I, I didn't expect her to come come here. Yeah. Come on, Jasta. Umaku iku hazu ga nakatta. Kekkyoku kara ja nakatta tte koto sa. Yeah, you're not doing any worse than any anyone else generally yeah i mean you do lose lose her at one point but you know <laughs> she's the worst like i said if if she was saying this stuff to drive him a, away sure but i don't i don't necessarily think so i think she's just a bitter lady that got a shitty hand but She's lacking, um, she's lacking that natural human nurturing thing. And it's not just like females, it's just some people guys, have it. guys yeah. as well are very, very much like, dude, I got to take care of this, this kid. Um, you have sympathy for, for the innocent and the, and the incapable, those that aren't capable of defending themselves and up for themselves. That's a human thing, male, female, whatever, whatever. She didn't have that. Yeah. Not only that, you can't just say the kid destroyed your dreams. It's like, I, I knew someone who had four kids, went to school, and had a job. Yeah. So it's like, no. I love that. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> like so the thing about getting kids um one thing i've always tried to do and keep in in mind my son and i have a lot uh in common as far as some of our our struggles when when we were when well he is young and when i when i was young um always approach the kid from the mindset you had at that age. And of course, you're not going to remember four years old very, very well, but especially when they're, <clears throat> when they're, you know, five, six, seven year, years old, um, think about, you know, when, when you're, when you are having to have serious discussions, think about how hard, how hard it was for you to, to pay attention, uh, when, when they're in trouble and you're needing to scold or, or whatever you want to want to say, think about, the the times that you needed a a break from that like when your parents just kept going and the the one thing you needed was just for for five minutes they could chew your ass out more you just needed five minutes uh little little things like that it's it'll make a world of difference to approach them on their level which also includes literally getting down we were told that by Mm -hmm. uh uh uh, professionals uh therapists and stuff you know get down on on your kids level physically and mentally even emotionally uh, in in a way you know put put it to them as we used to say in the army barney style as mm-hmm. simplified as as can be but think back to what you needed or what you wanted even sometimes uh, yeah. as a kid and then also like the time to have a a serious discussion isn't when emotions are high wait till everyone calms down mm-hmm. and as one that solve i hated. any yeah, solve any uh danger immediately mm-hmm. Take a break if necessary and calm calm down. And of course, all all parenting is is dependent on the the kid, the the environment, how many adults, what type of adults are are in the household. Are they responsible? And you know, so don't take anything we say as as like gospel truth. It's just our our experience. Yeah. You say you're sorry, but I don't believe you. I mean, they—they they are. They—they're sorry that that the event 
is upsetting you. They're not sorry that the the event happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't they don't quite grasp that. Mm. Oh, I remember those days. It wasn't that bad, but having to you know write their name and everything and. <laughs> I know we said this in our in our reaction for for this episode, but uh, our our son he he did essentially the the exact same thing. Only it wasn't writing his name; it, it was worse. He he just colored on a on a brand new Mario hoodie. Like the the first day he wore it, it's like I colored on it. Why? I know, right? I don't know. <laughs> I put <gasps> today. I, I put um, pants on him where he had two different color markers on <laughs> on it, like marker stains. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to remove those stains. You're just going to outgrow it soon, and you're just going to do it again. I'll I'll so. say this: I'm not afraid to call uh, to call this advice because unless you've got a serious medical condition that prevents growth. Uh, every, everyone grows, uh, and children grow fast. Yeah. Do not, do not spend money on name brand expensive things for, for kids under the age of like three, four years old at, at, at least. Unless it's preferably, a day or something. Yeah, preferably yeah. about six guys, like literally till, till about six uh, the reason why is they they grow really fast, but also as you you can see, and yeah, sure, some of this is exaggerated, but kids are very very bouncy, rambunctious. They get into things, they they write on things like that. You know, happen there, uh, and they'll do that. Like I said, at least through three or three and four, usually through through at least like like six, seven, eight. Some of them start slow slowing down, but. Uh, used used kids clothes, and then of course to donate your used. Uh, kids clothes but use kids clothes did, yeah. is what we we did with lucas for about the first six years religiously of course socks underwear if you see yeah. a cool shirt that you really do do like but his wardrobe like the biggest chunk of his stuff was you know cycled through hand-me-downs and 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 secondhand secondhand stores and it and it literally is just to one pre prevent waste you know of of buying so many new clothes and then two, because uh, he's he's he went through them so damn fast, and then would ruin things. So it was just like, yeah, we found this really awesome Power Rangers shirt at a at a used store. Love it, man. He he ruined it. That sucks, but it but at least I was only out like two dollars, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that I would say, uh, straight up advice: kids grow, kids are are uh, messy. And they're go going to ruin things. So uh, if you don't have to buy fancy, don't have to buy brand new, don't. Save save the money. And the heartache. <laughs> yeah, I know. It hurts so bad. <sighs> have, have you considered what the internet might, might be saying about the um, thick teacher on, on the interwebs, considering how usually more slender... Anime emails are. Yeah, what do they say about it? I, I don't know. Oh, I've, I've, I thought you said I've, that you saw something. I'm always afraid to to look up uh, comment sections and stuff. I know, so, but I can imagine the because, uh, like I said, she's obviously a bit of a more more full figured lady. So, and that's something a lot of people are are into. Yeah, like oh, a female that doesn't look like a twelve year old girl. <laughs> Impressive. What? <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's, it. Germany. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Christine has looked young for, a, you know, forever. <laughs> and uh, when she was younger, when we, when we were both in our, in our early 20s, uh, she was mistaken <laughs> for being younger than that and had a, a school bus. <laughs> School, There's a lot of a school bus for the for the high school uh, there in in Germany the the where I was where I was stationed at <laughs> try to get her to get on the bus. I'm like no, this 
She she was waiting on the the transport like to get for, from base to base. God, and our neighbor asked if my dad was home and had already met you. I'm like, he doesn't look that old, and I don't look that young. Or oh my god, yeah, that that was that was 2009. So I I was 20 uh, 22. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh my god, and you were 20. Mm-hmm. Oh, やがふたり子供が一人のはずなのに我が家はまるで子供が二人。うん。なんか増えてる。シイタケ苦手なんだ。You're He's not overreacting at it in any way. <laughs> no. He could have been a little bit more clear in saying, hey, I'm not just saying I feel busy. I'm telling you you're not doing enough. Yeah. But they also needed, uh, Ray needed to be a bit more uh, observant. Yeah, see what you're missing? By not just doing the job right to start with and shooting him in the face. You know, right? <laughs> I know we needed the character development. It's okay, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm tracking. We appreciated the character moment. Just if it was real. <laughs> Shot him in the face. <laughs> I could totally eat all that cold. <laughs> it doesn't bother I'm not me. I'm a fan of cold pizza or cold uh, fried chicken. No. Not my thing, baby. It's going to be interesting. I really wish I had gotten to see that story this week. I know, right? <laughs> it's all good. It happens. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, we love the show. I think this might be a really sh short reaction as far as content. Maybe I'll just leave in what, uh, little context for what we kind of stopped and, and talked about since you've seen all of our actual reactions for this. But hey, if you got to this part, you already know the way I did it. So whatever, <laughs> uh, you guys, uh, be sure to, uh, think about joining us on our, uh, live stream this, this week. Uh, this weekend here uh, tomorrow, like I said, four four fifteen Eastern time, one fifteen Pacific time. Uh, check out all the other great anime content. We've got Star Wars uh, reviews going on now for the Mandalor for the Mandalorian season three, and of course, um, Breaking Geek Radio Daily Cup of uh, Genre Marvel Multiverse May Mayhem. Uh, so many other uh anime that we're going to be covering we've got bake monogatari going on right now finishing fate zero we'll start konosuba after that near automata uh a lot of great stuff in the back catalog and things to to look forward to like uh dr stone and tony tony kawa at least next season if it's not a reaction video it goes up on all your uh favorite podcast apps so please do uh check that out and uh of course lrmonline.com for written reviews uh news articles uh opinion pieces things things like that excuse me you got anything man no i'm good see you guys on the next one